Hi guys, Fortieth Prime here, back with a bit of a different kind of video. Now, a few days ago I did a poll on the channel to ask you guys would like a sort of like top 10 styled video or something on those lines, maybe like once a month to fill a slot, and most of you said yes, so this is going to be, this is going to be that, it's going to be the first one, kind of testing the waters here to see what we can do. So I thought the first one, I'd make it something that's still like m fairly relevant to the channel, and decided that uh, I would do a video for the top, t for my personal top 10 favorite of the official Fun Pub reuses. Now, if you if you did not know, Fun Publications, you know, they did the whole Shattered Glass thing, that, you know, it, 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 it's kind of relevant here. <laughs> but um, a lot of the ones that they have for designs were just straight up reuses. Like, um, you know, like I mentioned last week with Shattered Glass Elite 1 just being uh, Cybertron Override GTS, for example, like that's, and they just straight up use that color scheme and design, they just swap the insignias around. And so I figured, since I have most of them, I don't have all of them, because I don't have a lot of the rare ones. <laughs> Look, some of these things, like, some, like, these figures range from about like $10 on Transformer Land to like $300 on eBay, so like, I, I, all of them's taken a while. <laughs> So I do have uh, I do have the one for Sunstorm on the way as of this recording, so that's nice. But anyways, let's go ahead and get down to the list. With uh, with number ten, we have um, movie movie two thousand seven Grindcore, which was reused as Shattered Glass Scoop. Now this is kind of on the list as, since it's a personal list of mine, which I should be upfront about that. You know this isn't. This isn't like a end all be all list. If you have other ones you like more, you like these in a different order, that's cool. You know, I'm I'm totally fine with that. You can enjoy the things you'd like to enjoy, but this is my video, so we're gonna do it this way. <laughs> but um, but this is kind of one that I just kind of have on here personally because as a kid, I really wanted this toy, and I just never really bothered picking one up for the longest time. And I think eventually I did, and after I did at some point I realized there was also a Shattered Glass reuse. So I got to just straight up swap him on the shelf <laughs> and just put him with the Shattered Glass figures. I just thought, I thought that was really fun, and I still remember doing it. Yeah, it's like, I, I do still like this one. Granted, I do think a better Shattered Glass scoop reuse exists with the Takara Adventure Roadblock figure. It's like the green version of Thrilling 30 scoop. But I still think this one's nice. I just like the figure, even if it is, like, a touch bland. And it's, like, mostly green. Just very green lad. And for number nine, we have movie Hardtop, which is used as Shattered Glass Beachcomber. Now, I briefly went over this in a, um, in a sort of recent video. It was a few months ago. <laughs> where I reviewed the New Age Shattered Glass Beachcomber, which is based on this figure. And I, this, this is probably also because I love the figure. Like, this list isn't really based on the quality of the toy. It's more so based on the color scheme and the design. But I, I really like this figure. <laughs> uh, the colors on it, I think, are really nice. I think they fit Shattered Glass decently, even though it is just a militarization. These caution stripes are doing so much work. These in the chest are doing so much work, and I really appreciate them. But yeah, it's just, I, I think this really fits Shattered Glass Beachcomber. Like, it just works. Like, you know, the regular Beachcomber, he's all... He, he's bright and blue, and this one's just kind of depressed, I guess. He's evil. And then for number eight, we have Armada Power Links Demolisher, or just reused as Shattered Glass Demolisher. Now, um... This one took a while to get, and I just kind of lucked out and found, I think, like, 15, 20 bucks last year. <laughs> I think it was last year or the year before, but uh, I do like it. I did paint the Decepticon symbol. I was going to put a sticker over it, but then I was like, no, that's the easy way out. <laughs> I do have his Minicon. I just didn't feel like grabbing off the shelf, but I do just really like this one from like the yellow eyes here to just like the little hints of blue and all this like really nice paint going on on the sides and then up top. Granted, I kind of wish it wasn't just like straight up one from the show. That's really my only issue with this reuse is that this was in the show. Like it was like it was in Armada in like the last like 10, 15 episodes. Could be wrong. <laughs> like I wish it was I wish they used a different one, but I guess of the repaints, this was probably the most good guy looking one. Though granted they could have just, you know, not used demolisher at all. 
that was also an option, but they, they used him, and I have this figure now, and probably will be stuck with it forever, unless they make a new Power Links Demolisher, who knows. But uh, yeah, I mean, also just in general, I love this toy. <laughs> Again, this isn't based on liking the toy, but I like this one. And then for number seven, we have a real, wa this is probably like the wackiest looking one in this list. And it is the 2001 Robots in Disguise Bludgeon or Shattered Glass Bludgeon, if you will stand, please. Yo, I don't actually know if I reviewed this. I Part of me feels like I did. I, I might have, I, I don't know, I, I, my brain remembers taking a thumbnail photo. I could be, I could be 100% wrong. <laughs> probably am but uh i i just like this design like granted this isn't the best figure in the world since as you can see like if, if i try to stand him up normally he just falls gives up but i i love i love these colors he, he's a little dusty he has been on the shelf but like i love the this stupid bright yellow with the contrasting like kind of like a sea foam green or like a bluish color the completely daft like pump thing back here that's making this look absurd oh now he's standing okay <laughs> and then even the silver wheels here the chrome wheels you love to see it i kind of wish i could get someone to 3d print him a cowboy hat since if you didn't know shatter glass bludgeon is a cowboy <laughs> and i think that'd be really funny or if i just get like a lego like indies fedora or something and just tack it on the top and it'd be really cute but uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty fun repaint. It's weirdly expensive, I found though. <laughs> like when I was hunting one down for a while, they kept on showing up for like 40, 50 bucks, and I think I paid like 20 for this. I, I wouldn't pay more than 20 for this if you want one. These absurd things. And then number six is the Henke, I believe it's Dark Mirage. I know it's like Henke Mirage. It's like the, the, the clear one. That isn't blue. <laughs> uh, so I'm normally not a fan of clear figures, and I also recently covered this basic look in a Legends video, <laughs> a New Age video. But um, I, I really like this. Like I, I I'm surprised it's hold, held up still because it's a clear toy and it terrifies me. I don't mess with it too much just because, but just the basic look, the really nice chrome going on in it, like the the simple colors they did. And like the backstory behind this, it was basically um, IDW Skywarp's whole deal before IDW Skywarp was a thing, where he's like half in existence and half not. He's constantly trying to stay like together, and I I think that's neat. Like I, I like the backstory behind using this design, how it isn't just like oh it's just the evil one that we could use. Like there's a, like there's a bit of a reasoning, and I really appreciate that. Also, you know this is just. One of the peak classics figures. Come on. And then number five in the same boat. And I actually got these two at the same time a few years back for my birthday. <laughs> uh, the Henke Dark Skyfire or Jetfire. Whatever it said in his box. I don't know. <laughs> now, another one that I've covered in a Legends video. This is the Iron Factory one I did. Of course, he falls over. He likes to fall over from the backpacks. We're just going to... I'm just gonna take the backpack. I, I do like the look. I like the chrome boosters here and the and the purple. Basically just sky warp, but not. I think it's funny. But yeah, um, I do really like the look of this. It's a black repaint. It's black and purple. You can't lose. <laughs> Actually impossible to lose with this color scheme. Like the only thing they kind of lose is I wish there was a bit more. It's like you can see more from the sides and like the back. But it's like the dead front, it's like, this is just completely black. <laughs> like it needed more purple happening up here, just more something. It's just a bit too dark for my tastes. I, I know he's dark sky fire, but this is taking it a bit too far. But I do still really like how this looks. It, it also gives me just an excuse to keep the mold around, because I do like this mold, but you know, we've gotten the Thrilling 30, jet fire, and then we've got the Siege jet fire. So it's like, we have better ones than this now. But I still think this toy is fun, and I like the fact that this keeps it relevant. I mean, granted, there, there's a shattered glass version of the siege one, but we don't. We're not gonna talk about it. It's fine. <laughs> this could be relevant if I want it to be. 
And then number four, we have a freaking all-time classic movie, 2007, Big Daddy, or was also just reused for Shattered Glass, Big Daddy. And this is the weirdest one to me. <laughs> this is another one that I, like, wanted. This, this is kind of like this is kind of like the grindcore, where I wanted it when I was younger, before I knew it was, like, a Shattered Glass thing, like, before I was overly into it. And when I found out, I was like, it's even more reason just to have it around. Just because the name is dumb, the color scheme's epic, and it's the Cybertron Downshift mold. It's great. <laughs> Legacy, give us a new one. Please. And repaint it in, like, like G1 Wheeljack colors. That'll be my Wheeljack on my shelf. <laughs> you better believe it. But yeah, it's just, I love the colors on this thing. Just the orange flames and, like, the silver lining going down. Like, all the way down the car, because you can see it's there and then there. Like, it, it, it goes around. And then even the back having the, like, little nice details. Like, it pops. It feels like a proper... Like, this feels like it could have been a Botcon figure from just how much it pops. So, yeah. I think it I think that's why it definitely deserves a spot on the list. And then number three, continuing on the deserves it because it pops. A figure that we did recently cover. <laughs> Override GTS. <laughs> I, I, I hate this figure still. Like, I don't, I don't like this toy, and I don't know how it made it to number three, and I kind of hate it for it. <laughs> like, it's, it's, the toy sucks. It's, it's awful. God, thank you, Legacy Override, for existing in general. But the colors are fantastic. <laughs> From, like, the freaking flames on the sides of the legs to just, like, the, the nice chest detail. That if I can get this to go up a little bit, even even the head just has like nice paint going on. Even the hands have like painted fingers. It's crazy. I love it. <laughs> and it contrasts really well too, with just like the the darker gray and black with the striking like red flames and like just red paint going on the whole thing. Like it it works. It hits. It pops so well. And uh, again, legacy. Please do this. I. Do it so I don't have to. I, I don't want to paint flames. <laughs> I'm not ready for that. I'm not ready to figure out how to do flames. Number two is probably, like, the most influential... Influential? There's the word. Influential of these. With uh, the music label, Soundwave. This is the original version of the release where it was just, like, iPod colors. And, uh, if, for those that don't know, this actually inspired the color scheme for, like, the BotCon Shatterglass Soundwave. Because in the first Shatterglass issue, they reused this basic design for, uh, like, a background shot whenever Megatron's doing the famous uh, Decepticons attack comic panel that I, I, I hope you guys have seen. If not, here you go. But, um, he's, like, in the background back there, and they ended up taking this... And using that to make this. So, I mean, it's just really neat. Like, it's, it's, it's just, it makes this figure, like, retroactively a lot more interesting. And I finally got one last year, and I was really happy about it. I think I mentioned it in, like, my top 21 video. That it, I think it made it there. But, yeah, just, it, I think it's neat that this just kind of inspired it. Even... Like, even though it's just like it's just a reuse and it's the only time I think a reuse did that for the fun pub figures Like they didn't like they never did a reuse and then made it its own thing like that never happened. This is the only time And for that I think it is really nice And then for number one one that I wasn't that I knew was gonna be on the list but I didn't expect it to be number one because you know what could be better than music label sound with the answer is 2007 movie Armor Hide, otherwise used in Shattered Glass as Shattered Glass Huffer. <laughs> this to me just looks amazing. Like I, I, I love the colors in every way. Just the black with the contrasting yellow, the nice silver here. Then even if you use the Cyber Key gimmick, there's yellow tipped missiles. The head here with this, the striking yellow eyes on the silver face. Got the stripes going on. Even the even the caution stripes from uh, from the beachcomber or the hard top, even the gun just like having this yellow going all the way down to a yellow tipped blaster, it's just it just hits the whole design. 
hits. And yeah, I like to keep the key in there because it just makes the gun look even more absurd. But yeah, it's just like like this like the color scheme of this really reminds me of Shattered Glass Goldbug too. It's just how a lot of Shattered Glass figures will be like a basic color like black or red, but it has like a lot of striking contrast going on. Like those are the ones that I really enjoy. And this is basically just that. This 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 figure's concept is just that. Not to mention it's just a fun toy. Like again, toy does not matter, color do, but I like it. <laughs> I I think it's just a really nice one and it's a really easy one to get. Like it's it's one of the ten dollar ones you can probably find on eBay or Transformer Land. Ten, fifteen. I think I actually bought this off of Transformer Land. I know I probably bought some of these guys off of it, I just but yeah, let's bring in a few others. But yeah, I figured I'd do this list too, just because for me, the the new Shattered Glass, sometimes it just really doesn't hit. You know, like with like Goldbug or freaking Magnus. And, and to me, it's just because Shattered Glass really defined its look was that Neo Classics and the Unicron Trilogy vibes that it had from not only the actual BotCon toys, but just the reuses as well. You see, look like we got like the movie repaints of Unicron Trilogy figures. We got a Neo Classics, like Unicron Trilogy, RADO one. Like it was just a lot of different things pulled together, and it worked. It just hit a vibe. It worked really well. But it's like the new one. It's just straight up G1 repaints. Even when they could not, they still do, and it's just like it kind of bothers me a little bit. Like, of course, some of them are going to slap like that. Like, I, I think Blur is fine. I would have preferred if it was, like, an Armada Blur-ish looking body, which we might be getting this year, according to leaks. I don't know. Or, like, you know, um, which one? Or Starscream, since it's, like, a Cybertronian jet, like, that works. But it's, like, Goldbug shouldn't be a mini-bot to me. <laughs> But yeah, I, I felt like doing this video just kind of expressed that I, I love this. I love a lot of the reuses they use too, just because it really helps define the look of Shattered Glass. Will we ever get it? Will we ever get anything that's like on that level with the new ones? Probably not. They, they don't. They seem to think Shattered Glass repaint has to be like the same exact body as the regular one, just palette swapped, and that just kind of sucks to me. But, uh, it is what it is. We can still enjoy the old things, and again, a lot of them are cheap. <laughs> you can find you can find a lot of the movie ones for pretty low prices, honestly. Like, if you go on, again, the Transformer Land, eBay, doesn't take that much. But, uh, yeah. If you guys have any other suggestions for, like, a top 10-ish video or just things like that, you let me know below. Like, again, this is kind of like a newer video segment. We're going to see where it goes. We're going to see if, how, how we feel about it, if you like it. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, that is pretty much all I have to say. So, be sure to check out my channel for more video and custom views. And please don't forget to subscribe. New goals come check out my Facebook and Tumblr pages. Links in the description below. And this is the 14th Prime. Signing out.